wasting your time on doing your next comic to stage. He also started maybe the same day, maybe two weeks before me. Very funny guy, works with funny bones all over. Good friend of mine, give it up for Roy Rogers. Roy, 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 Roy. Roy, Roy, Roy. Roy, Roy, Roy. Roy. Roy, Roy, Roy. Roy, Roy, Roy. Roy, Roy, Roy. You guys suck. No, fuck it. It's done. Stop. It's done. The moment's passed. Hey, Silver. Let's focus on the penis tonight, alright? I want you to digitally enhance that as best as you can. I want some Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus dick going on right here. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. The entire set, right on my dick. I saw a poster the other day that was supposed to be uh, against kids' cancer, but this was obviously designed by a poor graphic designer. So on one line it said, let's be kids. And on the other line it said, cancer with an exclamation mark. So I thought that poster was for beating kids and for cancer. <laughs> I'm pro both, in case you were wondering. I, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am dating a black girl currently. Woo! Yeah! The first best thing about dating a black girl is that when people see you out in public, they automatically assume I have a huge cock. Awesome. The second best thing about dating a black girl is the hot kinky sex. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm talking about that Thomas Jefferson role play shit. Yeah. Cause I've always wondered what it would be like to fuck a founding father. It was pretty awesome. If you ain't do that one, you will one day, sir. Yeah. Uh, speaking of black folk, I, I saw a documentary about uh, racism in the Old South, and all the images they were showing were in black and white, which got me thinking, like, what if racist, like, what if we were saw things in grayscale? Like, I think we'd still have racism, like, uh, the light gray people would be like, fucking dark grays, <laughs> breathing all the light grays air. Moving on. <laughs> Saw a woman the other day, she was get, grabbing for a cigarette, but she dropped it on the ground. And she goes, oh, five second rule. Like, really, bitch? I don't think you're allowed to five second rule a cigarette. Because I'm pretty sure the shit on the inside is far worse than the shit on the outside. I'm just saying. <laughs> to all those guys that have ever said, I'd give my left nut for a cigarette, I'm calling in the favor tonight. Yeah, because I want somebody to come over to my house and see a testicle in my mantle and go, Roy, what's the story behind this? I'm going to be like, look, I knew a guy who needed a cigarette real fucking bad. Well, nope. all right. I'm telling you, this is new shit. I'm working on it. Let's do it. Fucking, uh... So, uh, I make, I, I make hourly wage at work. And uh, I got bored one day because I don't have any real responsibility. And I decided to calculate how much I make per second. And I got it down, I, I figured out how much I make per minute, and I'm like, uh, I realized that if I eat Taco Bell the night before, my work is paying me like 575 to take a shit, which is pretty cool. I also got paid 10 cents to masturbate. <laughs> Once, but like over the course of a week, it was like five dollars. So <laughs> I get bored at work, and there's no filter on the internet. I don't know, man. You guys aren't liking me tonight, are you? Roy. Well, yeah, that's not that's not happening. We're not bringing it back. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you guys with this. I, uh, you guys like personalized license plates? Nope. No. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Fuck you, first and foremost, that was a rhetorical question. No response was required on your part, so fuck you very much. I'm doing it anyway. I personally love personalized license plates. I think it's great that people can get so creative using seven characters that they can spell out a phrase. I saw one the other day, it was probably the best one I've ever seen. 10QGZUS. 10Q Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. With a license plate. That's pretty awesome. But what really impressed me about this license plate is that it forces you to do your best Miss Cleo impression. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> hey, I'm Roy Rogers. Have a good night. Roy, 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 Roy. Seriously? Fuck you guys. All right. How you guys doing? It's a great night, right? This is a great night of comedy. Give it up for yourselves. Get, that means clap. <laughs> Euphemism. You're good. All right, I'm going to bring to stage a very funny guy. A guy I do a lot of comedy with. Great improver, great stand-up comedian. Give it up for my friend, Corey Marshall. Let's give it up for John Reeves. I know that's amazing to see him tonight. Y'all doing okay? I'm not gonna ask that. Everybody ask that. Um, Molly and Uriah. Y'all still doing good? That's cool. I don't know. If y'all came in early, you kind of missed it. He was sitting separate, and then Dave Wingfield made him come sit over here with Molly because she was sitting by herself. And I thought that was a good thing. So, um, and then I thought about it, and then I was like, maybe that wasn't a good thing. Because, you know, what we're at the moment was, what if Uriah, the black guy, was like a serial killer, you know? <laughs> and he was like trying not to kill any more people. <laughs> and before he got, he was like, God, you know, you just keep putting me in these situations. <laughs> and then he's like sitting down, he's like, no, come sit over here, come on. He's like, no. I'm like, no, come on, sit over here. He's like, no, you don't understand. Then he's like, okay. <laughs> Molly's really scared now. She's like, oh, man. We got your back, Molly. No problem. You all right, you're right? You're not a serial killer, are you? No, that's unlikely. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, that, that wasn't even meant to be a punchline, and y'all just laughed. Why? <laughs> because he's black. <laughs> So typical. You can say that's like, I could, you can say anything stupid joke and just say because he's black and it's like funny. But that didn't laugh, right? Because I'm black. Is that nice? Anyhow. <laughs> I right, so check this out. The other day, I don't know how this is gonna work. But um, all right. I went to the supermarket, right? And outside the supermarket was this guy. You know how you usually have people begging for change, whatever. This guy wasn't asking for change. He asked me to pick him up a box of Cheerios. <laughs> and that's kind of, you know, suspicious. You're like, really? You don't want no food? No, nigga, I don't want no food. I want a box of Cheerios. He's like, really? I can't get Captain Crush? Like, no, nah, nigga, Cheerios. He's like, I got to feed my kids Cheerios. He's like, why don't you just get a job? But I mean, really, why don't you just get some money? You can buy whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of, I got to work on that. I'm going to just stop. <laughs> It's not funny because I'm black. <laughs> no, it's, trust me, I'll stop right there. That's real bad. I got a roommate the other day. Um, one of my friends called me and asked if he could stay. It's a true story. And um, I really don't like roommates because I've been by myself for like forever, yo. And so um, I knew it wasn't going to be good. But like the first day, he like really got on my nerves. He brought like these frozen White Castle burgers. And. He tried to cook them in the oven. And he left the plastic on. Which is like stupid, you know what I'm saying? It's like, why would you think you could leave the plastic on anything that you put in the oven, you know? Do you understand heat at all, you know? It's, I don't know, right? And so like, that's what I was thinking, this guy's stupid. So after they finished burning, he goes, oh, I forgot to take the plastic off. <laughs> And they're like, you, how did you forget to take the plastic off the burger? Like, were you blind? You, I don't know, you just had your... Because he's black. Because he's black. That's what it was, you know what I'm saying? 
And those burgers are black too, after you took them out of the oven. They look just like you, Sean. They're just... You gay though, right? I mean, you took a dude in the bathroom. I mean, you... If that's not gay, I mean, it's a desperate rapist. I gotta get anything. I don't... I'll take anything right about that. Hey, Gabe, uh, I'm not mad at you at all. No homo. That's just how it is. Last thing, um, wow, this set has been going pretty good. But um, the last thing, <laughs> it's not you all, it's me. <laughs> like a bad relationship, it's not you all, it's me, it's my jokes. No, 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 don't laugh, don't laugh. Don't laugh, it's me. Stop. I'm serious, this is over. It's over between us. I'm no longer entertaining you. It's over. All right, so check this out. The other day, um, you know the story, 127 hours, about the guy on mountain climbing, lost his arm? Yeah. If you don't know, a guy on mountain climbing, lost his arm. <laughs> this guy was on the show, a talk show. Not the talk show, that, a game show. It was called um, A Minute to Win It. He was on A Minute to Win It. Maybe some of y'all seen that episode, right? You did. So that, it, I gotta need a white person. Did a white person see that show? Thank you. You validate the joke. Um, so, cause I'm black. And so like, um, and it meant the way, you know, he had like a minute to do like these outrageous things, whatever. And it, the thing that was messed up was because he had a minute, he didn't have any extra time, you know. It was messed up because, not because he had one arm, but because he was missing one arm, you know what I'm saying? And like the, this is not wording right. I don't know what, it was jacked up because he was black. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but the thing was, Jackson was like, because, you know, I can like imagine the host, like, at the end of the game show, it's like a setup, you know, it's like, oh, you didn't win it. But you can go mountain climbing and survive, but you can't get two little balls into a hole. <laughs> Some hero. <laughs> Give it up for Corey Marshall. Wow, he's tall. All right. This next comic, I have a class with him. Very funny guy. I think it's his first time on stage. Give it up for James Brooks. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm James Brooks, and this is my first stand-up experience, so, yeah. Okay, so I've been getting pretty bored with my life as of late, so I've decided to mix things up a little bit by um, becoming a psychonaut. Now, for all of those who don't know what that means, a psychonaut is an individual who uses mind-altering substances to um, alter my consciousness to obtain information on the, you know, I get fucked up a lot. That's basically what the whole system is. It's just a great excuse to do that. And um, my first um, drug that I was thinking about doing was uh, shrooms. Normally, people start with a crawl. I went with a fucking cartwheel. How many of you guys have done shrooms before? Real quick. Real quick. Wow, a lot of you. Okay, now I'm more relating to you than instructing you. But I'll tell you my story anyway. Now, um, I started off by getting my shrooms through a guy who sells ecstasy. This was my first mistake. Because someone who's on ecstasy all the time doesn't really get the concept of uh, proper dosage. And he told me to eat an entire eighth. Now any of you who know anything about shrooms, that's a lot. That's a lot for a first timer. Like me. Second, I did not listen to any of my friends who said to take them with someone who's sober so then they can keep you chilled out. I was alone. Strike two. Third, I did not know that shrooms keep you the fuck up. I did not know this. I thought it was like drinking. I thought I could, you know, just down something and then pass out. I didn't know that I'd be up for about seven hours tripping balls throughout the whole night. So I find myself alone in my room at 3.23 in the morning shoveling down an eighth of shrooms. Shit is about to get weird. <laughs> and I started off the night relaxed on my bed. Lava lamp on. Cliché. I know. It felt like it was necessary. 
to then all of a sudden skip in time, I'm in a corner, huddled in full military fatigues, rocking back and forth with a Freddy Krueger hand, crying tears of joy as I listen to Jefferson Airplane, saying, live in the now, live in the now. Another skip in time, I find a tape recorder in my room. Now in my drug-addled state, I thought to myself, you know it would be a great idea, recording everything I'm thinking of? And I filled an hour and 28 minutes of tape. And I didn't know what was on it until I sobered up. I found the tape recorder, was really excited to listen to what was on it. Turns out, it was an hour and 28 minutes of me breathing like this. <laughs> Another skip in time. With me taking the shrooms at such a late time in the, in the evening, I was still high at 9 in the morning. And all of a sudden, a helicopter swoops over my house. Now when you're on shrooms and a helicopter swoops over your house, you freak the fuck out. <laughs> and it didn't help. I was in full military fatigues in an army helmet anyway. So I'm thinking I'm in the scene of uh, Saving Private Ryan, and I start sprinting downstairs. I kick open my front door, barrel roll outside, to find a very confused UPS man in my driveway. <laughs> now we lock eyes. And I swear to God, 15 minutes passes. Well, maybe, I don't know, it's on shrooms. And uh, thankfully, I replaced the Freddy Krueger glove, but I did it with a Rambo knife. So this is the situation. We've locked eyes, 15 minutes. Finally, he breaks the silence of, is this the Brooks residence? And the only thing that in my shroom state of mind thought would be normal is to salute him, say, I, I, Sergeant Brown, and put the knife in my teeth and monkey crawl towards him. <laughs> As I'm signing for the package, knife still on my teeth, I lean into him and say, remember, sir, live in the now, <laughs> and run back inside. From here on out, every single UPS package of mine is hurled at my door loud enough to make it sound like a knock, and he peels the fuck out of my driveway. <laughs> so far, I think this whole Psychonaut thing is starting off pretty well. All right, thanks guys, that's my time. James Brooks, first timer, give it up. Give it up. All right.